Okay, it's, gonna, it's really not going to be me uh, doing this now. I want to have Matt Susan and uh, his his fine group. I see a lot of people in the crowd. I think are out here to support the same thing uh, for the All American Flag Act. Act. I just say I just want to say that it was an honor. As soon as I heard about it, it was an honor just to be able to bring it before the uh, council and um, and have us consider this. So I think it's a I think it's a great thing and, and it makes sense. So Matt, if you would come up. I'm not Matt. I'm Dave Miller, a resident of wonderful Palm Bay. Tonight, I'm here as a proud combat veteran, and I'm in support of the resolution for the All-American Flag Act, and I have in my hands the newsletter from the Vietnam and all veterans of Brevard. And I brought this because I'd like the council and everyone here to know that this isn't just for the city of Palm Bay to uh, resolve. It's not for the county. It's for the whole state. We want all the veterans behind this. And this is what it says. This act is designed to make sure that flags flown at our schools and state government buildings are made in the USA. And this is our own call to arms for all veterans in the state of Florida who are willing to travel to Tallahassee on March 10th to show their support for this bill. Thank you, Matt. Uh, good evening, everyone. I'm uh, Lieutenant Colonel Retired Tim Thomas. And I'm a resident of Melbourne, and I've been kind of coordinating uh, the veteran effort for the All-American, uh, support the All-American Flag Act. And 8,000 Americans are still unaccounted for as a result of the Korean War, missing in action. Most of those 8,000 Americans were frozen to death in the Chosen Reservoir when the Chinese entered the war in November of 1950. 94% of the flags that are imported, the American flags that are imported into this country and sold, are from China. And so there's only one nation on the face of this earth that has the integrity and the honor to make that American flag, and that's the United States of America. So we thank <laughs> So we thank uh, the city of Palm Bay for your support, and thank you for this resolution. Uh, the bill has just it's making its way through its committees. Uh, it's already passed its first House committee. It's passed its, uh, its first Senate committee. And there's momentum behind this. And it's events like this that continue that momentum and sends the message to Tallahassee that we're not going to set, accept anything less than that bill going to the floor for an up and down vote uh, in, in April. So again, we thank you for your support and let's get this thing done. Thank you. I'm here to show that uh, the younger generation is proud to support this act, that we too have pride in our nation, our one profound nation that cannot be with this right cannot be withheld from any other nation but the USA. This started in my classroom three and a half years ago by a group of kids in a generation that we look at and say they're not patriotic. This has given them an opportunity to not only show that, but the other individuals that are within our community and around us. Just three days ago, a student of mine that was in my classroom six years ago was at Florida State University, ran down because he heard there might be opposition to the bill, ran into the Senate committee and spoke on behalf of it, right in front of a guy that actually spoke out against it. And so this is what that is about also. It's not all about us and everything else. It's about our next generation and instilling what you guys have defended for this country in them so that one day this doesn't perish. We look back at all of the things that we stand for. Everything we stand for and everything we do every day is because of that flag back there. That is the truth. Every piece of government pledges to it, every school Everybody pledges to that, and we fight for that. That symbol of liberty is around the world, and we're going to make sure that nobody else around the world provides that flag for us except for us. I wanted to say thank you very much for everybody that's here. God bless America, and thank you, and continue your support and support. Thank you.